Hi everyone, this is Haley with Angie and Haley Present. Hi. It's my lovely bride here with me, the other star of the show. Anyhow, we wanted to do something different for us. Um, we see a trend on YouTube going around for the 73 questions by Vogue. And I like the idea, but I didn't want to use the Vogue questions, so we found a different set of 73 questions. And Angie and I are going to take turns um, asking each other the questions. So without further ado, let's get this started. Okay. I'll let you ask me first. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Am I asking you all of them or no, just... No, just one. One? Okay. And then, yeah, we'll switch. And do you want me to go in order? Yeah. Okay. What are you most excited about these days? Well, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to go to California with my wife. And we're going to go see Queen in concert featuring Adam Lambert. So I think that's what I'm most looking forward to right now. And I get to see my grandma and my dad. And my dad's going to the show with us. So it'll be fun. And it'll, it's going to be like the fourth time seeing Adam perform live. And Angie's first time. It should be fun. So yeah, I'm very excited. It's going to be exciting. Can't wait. All right. So, what's your favorite holiday, babe? <laughs> <laughs> Should I give the full-length answer for this question, or just make a quick? Just make a quick. I mean, I know holidays are tough for you. I'm gonna but... say, if I have to pick one, Christmas is my favorite. It's the funnest. And why? Because it has the most fun memories from my childhood. That's a good answer. And now your turn. And what is your favorite season? Um, probably spring. Um, because it's the season right when it starts getting warm, but not too hot. Because where we live, the summers can get pretty pretty high in the heat temperature, so I would say spring. Good answer. Where I'm from, it used to be, I don't know how it is now, I think it's getting worse because of climate change, but it used to be it was rainy all the way up until mid-June, so I would hate the spring, but yeah. And number four. Sorry, were you done? Yeah. Okay. Number four. What does one go on a perfect date? Or where? Where does one go on a perfect date? Oh, a date? <laughs> Not a road trip? Oh, a perfect oh. road trip or a date? Oh, is that what it says? Date? <laughs> on a perfect road trip. Where did I get date? Well, we could do date. No, where does one go on a perfect road trip and date? We're just going to um, combine it. I'm not the person to ask that question because I don't like driving. I would say somewhere where it's really like the road is flat and desolate, like maybe Kansas or ne Nebraska. Don't go with a bunch of boys in the car. You're not going to like the smells. Oh boy. Or, or the jokes, the inappropriate jokes. Lots of smells. Oh yeah. B.O. Yeah, B.O. Farts, the whole Farts. thing. Stupid jokes. Yuck. But no, for me, I would like to drive through the Midwest, you know, because the roads are like calmer and you can just drive through and stop at these little places. How cool. Yeah. Maybe one day we'll get a camper. That would be cool. Can't park it here though, where we live. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Wait, this is my question yeah. I ask you? 
What is the best activity when home on a rainy day? Well, to stay outside for me, because I don't really like the rain unless it's warm rain, like tropical rain. Um, so the best thing to do on a rainy day would be put on your jammies and sit around by a fireplace and watch a movie and drink, you know, coffee or not coffee, but wine or coffee or cocoa and watch a movie or something like that. Yes. Next. Uh, if you could switch lives with someone for a day, who would it be and why? Uh, huh. That's a tough question. She's really thinking, everybody. <laughs> I'm in, in my head trying to figure it out. You know what? I would think Katy Perry. Because she's just so fun, and it seems like she has such a fun life. And she's talented. She has a lot of fans. Good choice. Very successful. I would say Katy Perry, just for a day. Nice. Not for my whole life, but just I, for a day. I would like that too, because that means I'd get to be married to Katie for a day. I know, right? So See, win win. It's a win win. Win win situation. But I hope you would come back. Of course. Because, you know, as much as I love Katie, I'm your wife. You're the one that has my heart. Aw, thank you, honey. Did you hear that, Katie? Um, okay, so it's my turn, right? Or your turn? Uh, yeah, you asked me. Oh, I asked you. What is the best thing that happened this year? This year? Yeah. Well, the best thing that has happened this year hasn't happened yet. Um, but it's going to be happening hopefully next month. We can't say what it is. But it's exciting. Oh, that thing. Yeah, it's coming up. Stay tuned. So I think that will be the best thing of the year, plus going to see Queen. But the other thing, I think it's the best thing. So and I can't say what, but you'll find out sooner or later, everybody. Okay, your turn to ask. What? Well, um, what's your New Year's? What was your New Year's resolution? My New or Year's. Are you allowed to say what it was? Yeah, I can say. Well, actually, I think I forgot. But I think it was to not have a New Year's resolution because they never work out. So I'm going to resolve to not have a New Year's re resolution. I think my New Year's resolution, I've stuck by it pretty well. It was to really get serious with our vlog and. Oh, yeah. Try to vlog like once a week and put more episodes out and really just get serious and dig down into it. And I've been doing that. So. You've done a good job. Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite exercise? Exercise. I think my favorite exercise happens in the bed sheets. <laughs> Wait, can we put that on here? Yeah, sure. You weren't really explicit, so that's good. Um, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10. What is the best way for you to decompress? <laughs> that could go along with what I just said. To relax. Either, you know, lay down or sit back with a beer and just fully relax. Or meditate and listen to a nice calming like chakra meditation um, thing, soundtrack thing. Yeah, and just have a, alone time, quiet time. So and no. just use that time to just chill out. 
Nothing in the bed sheets, huh? Yeah, that's 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 my number two best way to decompress. You know, I just had to add some humor. I know what's on your mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, but those were good answers, though. Thanks. Really good. So, <clears throat> what's your favorite country to visit? Hmm. Huh. Uh, I assume it would be Mexico, because I've only visited two countries. And the first country, which was, what is it? A bee. <laughs> Shit, sorry, it went away. They got it. I've never been stung, everybody. And she's allergic. So, in other words, we're both terrified of... And we don't want to find jackets. out whether or not she's allergic, so... Um, I've only visited, visited a little part of... Canada, which was Victoria, so it's not really the full gist of Canada. Um, Mexico was great, so I would say Mexico, because it's pretty close to get to, and it's beautiful, and the people there are very friendly. And you're not really into, like, wanting to travel, no. go on a long airplane ride? No. See, I would love to visit Ireland or Germany or Norway, maybe France, but you're not a you're not a long flight kind of girl. But I still would never stop her from wanting to visit those no, places. No, no, you're very encouraging of me fulfilling my dreams, which is amazing. But if you do go to Paris, you don't need any. Um, new girl there. Why Paris? Because Paris is the city of love. I wouldn't go to Paris without you. I'll okay. bring Paris to you. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Deal. Deal. Now, next one. What is the last country you visited? Mexico. <laughs> How was it? It was fun. Really nice. Really, everybody's so friendly in Mexico. It really puts this country to shame because we're mean. Mexico, they're friendly and welcoming and nice, you know. And the food's good. They all speak English, and which I think is really cool because they don't have to. It's their country, but they do. So, I mean, they're just all really nice. And I want to learn Spanish because I felt bad for not knowing Spanish. Okay, your turn ask me. Okay. Okay, country you wish to visit. I Just think I would like to go to Canada, like the main parts of Canada, like, um, British, I don't know. Victoria, British Columbia. No, I went to Victoria. Vancouver. Have you been to Vancouver? No. Vancouver's a cool city. I was there, oh lord, 19 years ago? 18, 19 years ago? It was really cool then. Probably still is pretty cool. Yeah, so I'd like to go there. Like I said, I don't really like flights or long days of travel. I'm a wuss. So, I think uh, Canada is the closest country besides Mexico that I'll visit. Good enough. Unfortunately. Next question for you, my love. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? My favorite is chocolate chip mint. Yummy. Like the one your mom got from Trader Joe's. Yeah, that's really good. Trader Joe's chocolate chip mint. I highly recommend it. It's yummy. And like her mom always says, there's only three ingredients in it. Yep. <laughs> what makes you smile the most? Um, I would say 
Adam, our dog. Mm -hmm. And when you tell me you love me and when you kiss me and I love you. <laughs> and Katy Perry. Of course. That's why I need to be Katy for a day. Yeah, but you make me smile because you're the one that kisses me. Aww. So you're the one that makes me smile. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now you go. What's the coolest thing in the world to you? Oh dear, the coolest thing in the world? So vague. Isn't that vague? You know how my brain say, does with vague questions. Well, let's narrow it down a minute. Okay. The coolest thing you own. The coolest in the world. thing I own in the world. Oh, okay. Let's see. Even that's hard because I only like cool things. Um, the coolest thing I own in the world probably is my camera. That's Good. the coolest thing I own. Good answer. Yeah. I would say my iPhone. I swear my life has changed since I got an iPhone. Um, yeah, it's probably my most favorite technological device I own. Um, but the most dependable one I need is my wheelchair. But that doesn't count. I would say the iPhone is the coolest. Good answer. I don't know why I answered it. It's not my question to answer. <laughs> right? What's the cutest thing in the world? The cutest? Yeah. When Adam gets scratches. You knew that right off the top of your head. <laughs> that is really cute. When he loves for you to scratch him and you get it just done the right place. Yeah. It's the cutest. But he really hams it up when you're watching. He, you know, he's all extra about it. Because <laughs> he knows you get a kick out of it. We have the best doggy in the world. How do you know if you're in lovey? Well, I think it should say love. But it but, accidentally says lovey? Yeah. How do you know if you're in love? If you get this feeling in your chest, your heart it expands like this, like really, really big, and then you get these, it's more than a butterfly feeling in your tummy. It's like this like major, like you're almost going to pass out. And you also get like a warm feeling in parts, areas. Bye, everybody. That's how you know, friends. I like that answer, honey. Isn't that a good answer? It's true. Yeah. You have to pay attention to your body's responses to things. And I'm not just talking about down there in the woohoo area. I mean mm. your your whole body. How does your whole body feel? That's my metaphysical answer. They asked me. Oh, this is a good one for you. If you could go to any concert, past or present, what would it be? I'd probably go back in time and go see Katie's, like, Teenage Dream Tour or Prism Tour. Because that's when Katie was becoming the most popular. And she puts on a great show. So I would go back to that tour. Or I would go see... Michael Jackson. Good, Good answer. answer. Great answer. And I know you would see Janice Joplin. In a heartbeat. If Janice was still alive, or if I was alive back then, which I think I was, I would totally go to all the Janice concerts. All of them. What's the best gift you've ever received? Okay. Physical answer. 
not metaphysical or spiritual, physical answer would be my rosaries and my crystals. Not physical. True love. Uh, I love that answer. A favorite fashion trend of all time. Favorite fashion trend. Lularo. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, we are both wearing our Lularo. Ironically. But. I would say the Italian charm bracelets. Ooh, good That's answer. That's my favorite trend. I was so into getting a new charm for my bracelet. And I have one filled up all the way. And I think I have one that's almost full. I used to wear it every day. Nice. But I don't wear it anymore because I just have too much jewelry. Yeah. I wish I didn't lose jewelry so easily. Like, I'm very fidgety and I have bad luck with jewelry, so I don't wear it. But my grandma, when I was a kid, she gave me a charm bracelet. And you could put, you know, the idea was to, she'd give me a charm like every birthday or Christmas and you put them on there. But I think I lost it, which makes me very sad. Maybe your mom has it. Maybe she has it. I'll have to ask her. But Aww. I would totally dig it now. Keep it safe and add all the little charms to it. If you can only go back. What's your favorite movie of uh, all time? My favorite movie of all time. Oh, goodness. I don't think you have one. I don't have one because I'm a movie lover. I love seeing new movies all the time. But if I had to pick, I would say um, Fried Green Tomatoes. I like that movie. It's a good movie. It's been a while since I've seen it. We should watch it again. We should. What was the movie that made you cry? What was the movie that made me cry? Any movie, I guess. Savannah Smiles. Don't ask me why, it's just really touching at the end. I cry on to that movie most times that I watch it. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's an old movie from the early 80s. And it's called Savannah Smiles. Um, I also have cried really hard on watching my soap opera. That's the truth. I'm proud. I'm proud of that answer. <laughs> and I don't cry typically at all. Mm -mm. But Days of Our Lives, I think because you can just relate to it really well. Because it's been your favorite show since forever. So I think that's what gets you to, that's what strikes your emotion. I think I've been watching it now for about 20 years. Which makes me feel really old. And I cry all the goddamn time, so it's just really a gamble. I think I remember the f one of the first movies I cried out. I was a really young kid. I think it was this movie called Three Wishes. Is that the one about the dog? I don't know. I was really young. First movie I cried at. So, yeah. If you could make a documentary, what would it be about? Neurodiversity and autism and anything that falls under the neurodivergent category. Yes, and she's still tr taking submissions for her documentary. If you, want, if you or someone you know is a neurodivergent that follows under the autism spectrum disorder, even though it's not a disorder, 
um, and they want to submit their story, feel free to hit me up on Facebook. Will you leave the link in the description? We'll leave the link in the description below. Yes. You know I had to say it. Yes. Okay, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Um, to heal any illness I attra uh, contract um, pretty much instantly. So that means if I get nauseous, I can just cure it myself really fast. Or if I get a sore throat or a cough, I just cure it really fast. And that way I'd never have to have antibiotic or go to the hospital. That would be a perfect superpower. That would be, that's what you need. You need that super, superpower. And I know it's selfish. It's not something to help the greater good or the public, but. Well, it is. When you're healthy, everyone's healthy. Yeah. And that's just anyway. We, we all have to keep ourselves healthy and happy. I don't think it's selfish at all. You deserve to live a happy, healthy life and not have to get sick so easy. Scary. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. Okay. What is the skill that you still have unmastered? Levitation. Or flying. It's a good skill. Well, like Kanye West said, we're all gonna float one day. Yep. He's true about it. That's the truth. Okay, what is the best thing that happened to you today? Um, let's see. I woke up. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing. I think that's the best thing that happened to me, too. <laughs> when I got to see my brother and my dog and my dog brother on camera. Video thank, chat. Thank goodness for video chatting capabilities. Okay. Do you like surprises? Yes. I love surprises. Except I don't like sudden, loud surprises. Like, you know, something really loud coming at me all of a sudden. Or yelling, or surprise. That bothers me. Can't you, see you, that good. you might get a little bit hurt if you come up on me like that as a surprise. You have to be, you have to be gentle about it. I'm the same way, but I might get a little bit hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Not so, the other person. Don't, don't surprise either of us by startling us. No. <laughs> okay. What number are we on, just to let everyone know? We're on number 29, and we're, we're averaging about a minute per question, so that's not too bad. If you could do a flash mob, where would it be? Hmm. I have to lean to be in the camera. Where would I there. do a flash mob? Hollywood or Disneyland. Yeah. That would be amazing. Because she's never been to Disneyland yet. So. It's going to be fun. I want to go on the least busiest day. Because I think I will enjoy it more. No, so will I. So. Everybody clear out Disneyland so Haley and I can go. With our select few friends and family. Yes. And number 30, babe. Yes. Do you like cupcakes? I this do a, like cupcakes. This is an actual question. Do you Are like you, cupcakes? You asking me this question? Does it look like I like cupcakes? <laughs> I like cupcakes. <laughs> but you haven't had a cupcake in a while. It's been a very long time. Remember that one birthday you bought me like a whole... How many cupcakes was that? Like 24? It's a lot of cupcakes. <laughs> But they were like gourmet, special made. 
cupcakes. They were really good. Do you usually bake cupcakes? No, we've never baked cupcakes. We should sometimes. Um, but my mom does. <laughs> Your mom makes really good desserts. So good. And if I'm gonna eat cake of any kind, it's gotta have a chocolate and an element to it. So Sorry. I'm putting it out there, no red velvet. <clears throat> and no carrot cake. What's your favorite dessert? My favorite dessert... Besides me. You stop. <laughs> my favorite dessert would be, um... My favorite dessert is ice cream. Anything ice cream. Or gelato or frozen yogurt. Pretty good. So, is there a dessert you don't like? I'm sure there's lots of desserts I don't like. I don't like red velvet, like I just said. Or carrot cake. I don't like any desserts that are very nutted or overly sweet. Um, bread pudding, I don't like bread pudding. Uh, and I'm not really a big Almond Roca fan, sadly. <laughs> you lost points. Almond Roca's the best. That's what she bought me on her first, when we first met. Because she wanted something from my hometown, and like literally the factory was in Tacoma. It was, it's not anymore. I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, it's good. I'm not it's really just... that sure. It's just, like, not my favorite thing. It's more like a candy, a hard candy, kind of. I mean, it's okay. It's very popular, I guess. I love it. Oh, I don't like those cookies that are really popular either. Like the different color round ones. What are those called? They're flat. They have a filling in the middle. Thumbprint cookies? No, they're like sandwich cookies. Oh, they're a sandwich cookie and they're flat? Yeah, they have like different kinds. Oreos? No. Oh gosh, now I'm gonna forget. I don't even know. And yeah, I don't really care for those that much either. She's very So picky. anything with chocolate, I like. Except white chocolate. Okay, hey, just like get me off this topic. Pure chocolate. There's all the, there's a lot of stuff I don't like. Apparently. Your your foodie thing is kicking in. Okay. Um, what's your favorite bakery? Oh goodness gracious, my favorite bakery. You like Tahoe House? I'm gonna say Tahoe House. Because that's the, really the only bakery I really have a lot of experience with. I've been to a few bakeries. House? In my life. It's not really a bakery. It's more of a donut shop. So, yeah, I would say Tahoe House. Because it's the only one I've been to, like, several times. So, yeah. I second that answer. What's your favorite food? That's the question? Mm-hmm. Pasta. I'm sorry I'm off the camera, folks. I have to sit up straight. My spine hurts. And you don't want to get a picture of her tummy. <laughs> okay. Next question is yours. Or she doesn't want you to get a picture of her tummy. Um, are we on number 36? Mm-hmm. Number 36. It's brunch. It's brunch, everybody. Do you know where your kids are? No. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's brunch. What do you want to eat for brunch? For brunch, not lunch. I want not breakfast. A nice quiche with the jalapeno peppers on the bottom. The jalapeno pepper. Yeah. Um. I want some sausage links. Healthy ones, organic, but not too frou frou. And then I want some eggs, over medium, not too soft, not too hard, two eggs, 
Then I'm going to want to slice a cantaloupe and a slice of watermelon and a nice protein smoothie and a glass of orange juice. Wow. And a cup of coffee. That's a big brunch. That would be a perfect brunch. And some grapes. You can't forget the grapes. But isn't quiche eggs? Oh, yeah, quiche is eggs. So, quiche, sausage links, grapes, purple grapes, cantaloupe, watermelon, and a protein shake, a chocolate protein shake. You know, you can have eggs with your quiche. Who am I to judge? Hey, why not? Well, then I won't need the protein shake. How about just a, a berry smoothie? A berry smoothie. I think I'm hungry right now. That's why I'm listing off all these things. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a nice brunch. It does. I want to go with you. Wherever, Accoutrement. Wherever that is. Accoutrement. What does that mean? I don't really know. Well, we're going to ask people. What does accoutrement mean? Accoutrement. Okay. Who's next? Me. You ask me. Number you, what? Number 37. Number 37. You are stuck on an island. You can pick one food to eat forever without getting tired of it. What would you eat? Uh-oh. There's no... <sighs> mashed potatoes. Really? I don't know. She loves her some mashed potatoes, everybody. I feel like that's a safe choice. Mm hmm Because let's say I have a sore throat. I can eat that. It's soft on the throat. Mm hmm What if I have a tummy ache? Mashed potatoes. What if you feel like dancing? Mashed potatoes. <laughs> Next, okay. Next one is yours. And then we're what? 39? 38. 38. What's your favorite color, babe? Green. Uh -huh. Or blue. Well, you got both of those colors on. I, I don't have green. Your yeah. hat. Oh, my hat. Is it showing? Yeah. Yay. Okay, favorite superhero? Oh, poor snore. I'm not really into superheroes and Can I answer? Villains and all this shit. Um, trying to think. Superhero? One that you know of, because I know you're not into it. I don't know hardly any. I guess Zena. Good job. Yeah. I would answer that as well. Zena and Jean Grey. And Storm and um, uh, the one that can walk through walls. I forgot her name. Who's Jean what? Jean Grey from X-Men. Okay. I'm a nerd, sorry. And I'm so out of that. Geeking out over here. That, whatever they call it, life. So you ask next. Um, what do you usually order at Starbucks. No at, joke, that's the question. At <laughs> Starbucks, I usually order, um, well lately it's been that, um, cloud foam something. The cloud one, cloud foam vanilla, usually, usually a vanilla latte. I used to order a lot of mochas, but that's how you get fat. So I go with lattes, which are mildly less sugar, but not much. And I usually get a low fat milk and a flavor. Sometimes a spice like cinnamon or nutmeg. 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 And, and um, yeah. Who's the last person you texted? Let me do a test. Oh, I think it was Kate. Really? Yeah. Because she sent us a video. Oh, she did? About dogs and how they smell. Like the science of how they're able to smell. Okay, not like being the science of being smelly. No, not smelly. Just how they Like the like act sniff. of them being able to smell scents. Oh, that's cool. 
very interesting. Doogie's smelling right now the ground. He's he smells <clears throat> rats. Doogie is our uh, my in-laws dog. Yes. We're we're doggy sitting. He's my little brother, my doggy brother. And he's a rat terrier, so he's always got his nose on the ground for sniffing for rats and ground squirrels and all kinds of varmints. He's Adam's uncle. Yeah, it's Adam the Dachshund's uncle, huh? He misses Adam. He misses Adam. Yeah. Uncle Doogie. Uncle Doogie. Okay. Now, you ask. What number are we on? 42. Number 42. What's your favorite activity to do in your hometown? Go to the waterfront. Walk, walk along the waterfront and get a coffee or go out to eat on the water. And that's in Tacoma? Yes, Tacoma, Washington. But now this is your hometown, kind of. This is where you live. Oh, not, which, not my original hometown. It could be both. Okay, so my original hometown, I like to go to the waterfront. This hometown, I like to... Hmm. I like to go to the downtown coffee house. And for me, in this hometown, I like to go on walks with Angie and Adam in our hometown. That's it, me too. That's a good answer. And walk to like a dollar store or somewhere and get a coffee. Coffee stand. And where I'm from in California, my favorite thing to do was go to the boat works and get ice cream at the ice cream store. That's really fun. I like that too. It wasn't a, a like old fashioned yeah. type store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really fun. So that was my favorite. Oh, and also, I would walk through town with my friends and go to the pharmacy, downtown pharmacy, and get makeup. That was my one of my fun things to do too. But. Do that That's exciting. Tahoe, Tahoe has changed a lot since then. Way more busy. So has Tacoma. Way more crowded. It's not the Tacoma I remember. No. What's the next book you plan on reading? Number 43. I gotta finish the book I'm reading. Which is about Freddie Mercury. Nice. It's a, a biography about him and his partner. Tim Hutton, or Jim Hutton. Very cool. I like reading true stories about people. Yeah. When you read, you do. It's like autobiography or biography. Um, what do you love on your pizza? What do I love on that my pizza? That is so your question. Yeah, it is. I love... Olives, pepperoni, tomato, the sauce, of course. You gotta have a good pizza sauce. Olive oil, mozzarella cheese, maybe a little extra mozzarella cheese. The crust has to be just right. You know, I like a nice potato crust. Um, basically, I like everything except hamburger and anchovies. Anything else you can put on my pizza. Just not a lot of toppings, just, you know. One of my favorites is actually margarita pizza. It's yes. just the basil and the tomato, and um, they don't put the sauce on that one, but it's still good. So delicious. Yeah, yes. Obvious. I lo obviously I love me some pizza. Obs. And cupcakes. <laughs> and quiches and sausage links too, and eggs. I love the um, the Italian in me. All the carbs come out. All the, I love all the carbs. I'm a carbivore. That's basically all I eat. And whatever part of my genes came out in me that 
makes me retain all my weight. I'm not proud of that gene, but there we go. There we have it. I love you, honey. I love you, too. My throat's getting dry. Why? Because I'm talking too much. Uh, okay. <laughs> favorite, what's your favorite drink? My favorite drink? Mm-hmm. Like mixed drink or just drink? Any drink. Just says favorite drink. Coffee and water. About it. She's um, true about it. That's pretty much all you drink. Yeah, I don't like soda. I don't like anything too sugary or sweet. I do like me some iced tea every now and again. Even though you don't like sweet things, but your wife's pretty sweet. Yeah. So how does that work out? Anything else? No. Let me ask you now. Do you prefer dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Dark chocolate. I prefer milk chocolate. And that's just that. What's your favorite band? My favorite band? I don't have a favorite band. Um, if, if you had asked me that 15 years ago, I would have said NSYNC. But I'm kind of grown past that now. Uh, I would say Queen now, or, um, like, uh, I'm trying to think what's it called, Fleetwood Mac, or Journey, or, I don't know. I don't really have a favorite band. I like more individual artists. And that's just that. So. Good answer. You? My favorite band? I, I'm i with you. I don't really have... I like bands. But I don't really have a specific band that I'm really into as a band. I'm more into the, if I have a favorite, it's a, it's a solo artist. Next question. Um, favorite solo artist, babe. My favorite solo artist. There are so many. Okay. Going to say. Number one. Out of all of them. All of them. Uh, I was going to say we can narrow it down by saying which, the one that's still alive or one that's still alive, but I don't think any of them yeah, are, still, are alive. still alive. I'm going to have to say pink. Well, Katie cats are yelling right now. I love Katie, but I'm going to have to say pink. I'm sorry. But that's a pop music. What about just, you know, another... I'll say Reba McIntyre, Patsy Cline, Janis Joplin, and Pink, Dolores O'Riordan, also deceased, which blows my mind. Blows my mind. What the hell, man? <laughs> okay, who asked the next question? Me. We all know my favorite artist. Yeah. Okay. So we can just wait. What's your favorite artist? Shh. Let the audience answer. We're going to give you a few seconds to just think it over. Okay, good. Moving on. <laughs> favorite lyrics. What are your favorite lyrics? It's a quarter after one. I'm a little drunk and I need you now. Dun, 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 so I really dun, like those dun. lyrics, except I'm not always drunk or ever drunk. You don't like to drink. But I just like that, the, the lyrics. Um, also, I love the song, Rise. I love the lyrics. And when, when fire's at, at my feet, feet again. again. 
And the vultures all start circling. We'll whisper in. You're out of time, but still I rise. Yes. So those two songs. We have moved on to the next page. Question number 50. If your life was a song, what would be the title? If my life was a song, what would be the title? Circles in the sand. Mm -hmm. Is that what it would be? Circle in the sand. Yeah. Do you know who sings it? Um, <laughs> that chick from the 80s. It is an 80s song. Uh, Belinda Carlisle. I was going to say Brenda Carlisle. <laughs> yeah, that lady. Good song. Sun down all around, walking through the sun. Waves crash, baby, don't look bad. I will wait for you right here. <laughs> Next. If you could master one instrument, what would it be? The violin. Bing. Bada bing, bada boom. I love the violin. It's so sexy. It's my favorite instrument. It's beautiful. It really is my favorite. <clears throat> if you had a tattoo... Oh, wait. No, you asked me this. If you had a tattoo, what would it be? Well, where? we just talked about tattoos recently. Where would it be? Oh, where? But also, what would it be? Um, I have five of them. I would like them not to be there anymore. Because I don't know why. I'm just changing, I guess. But if I got another tattoo, I think it would be on my back. And it would be a phoenix. Like, yeah, a phoenix. With bright orange and yellow, like, colors. Yes. That's a good answer. And I'm going to tell you what I would tell everyone that says that about tattoos. Says what? They want them removed? I would say you shouldn't get them removed because they're basically just like pages in a book about your life. Oh, it's and like burning the pages or yeah, something? I think that you got them for a reason and that they all mean something and I think that's special even if it's something you got with an ex or a friend you're not friends with or whatever it's still uh, part of your story yeah such wise advice yeah such sage advice I love like you the one on my wrist of the, the star this was a painful time for me I got it when I found out my ex had Move back a little. cheated on me. I want to see you there. Uh, when my ex had cheated on me, um, I was very hurt and angry and confused and all different feelings. So I got this star, a nautical star on my wrist. And that was what I was going through then. Do I like the tattoo? Not really, not anymore. But it's faded and I wear bracelets to cover it. And I don't know, it's, I don't even think about it. It's just there. Like, it's just there. Do I hate it? No. But um, it's a chapter in your book. Yeah. The story of your life. So. I get it. I get that point. I have this tattoo on my arm that I got from my grandma. It, and it kind of helped me get through that time. I mean, the grief never really ends when you lose somebody. It never goes away, but it kind of helped me get through that time after she passed away. And now I'm wishing I would have just honored her in a better way. Like if I could go back in time and spend more time with her, I would in a heartbeat. I'd spend all my time with her, but it's just, they are, they're symbols of a closed chapter. 
I guess the end of an era. Moving on. Not always the end. Not always the end. Could be the beginning. They're symbols. That's why when you get a tattoo, I have to make sure that you really have value in the symbol that you're gonna put on your body. Yes, queen. So this is the next question, number 53. That is the question. To be or not to be. I don't even know what that means. That's the question? That's the question. To be or not to be. I don't understand it. I know it's Shakespearean, but... Um, I don't know. To me, that means... Don't try to be something. Just be you. Perfect answer. Perfect answer. And next question. Dolphins or koalas? Uh, I have to pick uh, the dolphin, a koala. Mm, I'm going to say dolphins because they go in the water and I like water. And dolphins are cute and they're smart. So dolphin. How do you like your coffee? Um, not too sweet, but just a hint of sweetness and a dash of creamer. You know exactly how you like it. Um, what's your favorite curse word? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> you allowed to swear on YouTube? I can bleep it out. Because I don't want to get demonetized. Well, we're not monetized yet, but... My favorite curse word is the F word. The F word. Um, your turn. What color of dress did you wear to prom? Well, I got, I was fortunate enough to wear, to go to prom three times. So, <laughs> I wore, the first year I wore, um, a black kind of velvety dress. You know the one. Yeah. Um, so it's like a silvery black velvet. Really pretty. It's gorgeous. The language. second year I wore a floral dress with a lot of blacks and reds in it. I wore that at a reception. That dress. And my senior year I wore an all red satin dress with, um, I don't know what that material is, but it's like a mesh lace material over it. Not, I don't know. Not either. crepe, it's like crepe material. So reds and blacks and silver. Yeah. Beautiful. And if I were to answer this question, I did not go to my prom. So you did go to your prom. I did not wear a dress to my prom. I went to my friend's prom the year after I graduated, who was a year younger than me, and I wore a tux. Yes! So. And you looked good. Okay. I wish you went with me to my prom. I know, we didn't know each other back then, but I would have asked you. I wouldn't have had to ask. No, I would have been the asker. That would have been nice, because I was the asker at every prom. What's up? How you doing? Okay, so. 58, pearls. number 58. Lucky 58. Diamonds or pearls? Diamonds. Because the Herkimer diamond is my birthstone. Wow. Love it. Diamonds, baby. Cheap shampoo or expensive shampoo? Expensive. Uh, make sure it had it. It makes it all scalpy and dry. Not yeah. scalpy, but um, scalpy. Dandruff. Yeah. You guys know what I mean on YouTube. 
right? Don't judge my grammar. Yeah. Uh, Pilates or yoga? No, on number 60. Unless you want to be on 62. Well, just say number 62, pretend. Okay, Pilates or yoga? Yoga. I've tried both. Yoga is nicer. <laughs> okay, now you ask me number 60. <clears throat> Blow dry or air dry? Air dry. Nice. Heels or flats? Flats. Heels. Number 64. Ha, wait. 63? That would be, oh. oh yeah, 63. Jog. Jogging or swimming? Neither. I'll probably jogging because I like to go fast in my chair when we're walking at them. Yeah. Because I don't like to mosey. Especially if it's hot, I just want to get to get it going. Me um, too, but he moseys with me. So, yeah, jogging. Jogging. I say swimming. Number 64. You asked me. Or is that I asked you? You asked me. One thing you can't live without. I already know my answer. One thing I can't live without. My answer is you. Aw, uh, babe. I'm going to say you too. Uh, and water. I can't live without water. And cannabis. <laughs> I mean, I probably could live without it. But do I want to? No. What's one cause that's dear to your heart? Um, all causes that help animals that are in extinction or help them with um, pollution. Uh, the ones that help eliminate plastic in the oceans. That's perfect. Poor babies. I know. Sad. Um, also, dog rescuing causes. That would be great. Well, I have a lot. Yeah. There's so many. Yeah. So much need in the world. You need to help animals. Children. Children, refugees, asylum seekers. Disabled people. Disabled. Homeless. Developmental. Whatever you can help is good in the world. Immigrants. I said that, kind of. Immigrants. Um, <laughs> what would you want to... No, go that way more. Who would you want to shoot a love scene with? <laughs> Don't cover your face. Next question. <laughs> Come on, you can say. I won't be mad. <laughs> um, Lucy Lawless. Xena. Besides you, but we're not going to do that. I think... But yeah, if Katie was in a, a movie, yeah, I'd like to be like a hot, steamy lesbian love scene. With Katie Perry. You know, I... What's your favorite sport? Baseball. That was simple. Do you have a morning beauty ritual? Yeah, sleep. <laughs> <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Yours, ask. What's your favorite thing to wear? The less clothes, the better. The less clothes, the better. And Lululemon? No, I would say um, shorts. Just shorts. Okay. Your, your turn. What's the priciest thing you've ever splurged on? Probably any of my cell phones I've bought were my Beats wireless headphones. Really? Those were $300. Yeah. 
so at one time, no, I didn't buy them at one time. I made payments. But, but at one pricey. time, I don't know. I think I paid like a hundred for like a Louis Vuitton wallet. Hashtag my priorities were whack. No, they weren't. You like what you like, and that's okay. I just got shat on by a bird. Ew. Yuck, okay. man. Okay, let's finish this up real quick. Oh. Yuck. I'm scared to sit under here. No, just hurry up. We have four more questions. Okay, ask. What number? Number 71. 71. Do you play any musical instruments? I dabble. I'm a dabbler. I play a little guitar, a little keyboard, and the most thing I've actually learned fully to play was the cornet, and that was in the fifth grade. The clarinet? Cornet. It's like a little, a smaller version of a trumpet. Oh. <laughs> Bird crap thought, on my leg, man. I thought you said clarinet. Cornet. It sounds like clarinet, but it's a cornet. <laughs> so, yes, I love music. It's great. Next, um, what is your favorite book of all time? <laughs> Mine. Um, I guess, um, Sing You Home by Jodi Picoult. Sweet. What is your favorite, um, what is something you always travel with? Nail clippers. It's true, she does. I can't, yep, I can't forget my nail clippers. And that is all, folks. That's the end. I'm going to go, um, try Brush not off to. off her leg. Try not to throw up. I have bird poop on me. Yay. You can show the camera. Peace and love. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>